Hello friends, in my previous blog, you have already gone through dynamic templates in AM623 part 1. So you must be thinking that what is left now. So yes, we are back with some other configurations and things which are very helpful with dynamic templates. So dynamic templates has functionality of layout editor within itself. So first of all, how to use layout editor with dynamic templates. So you can see that in my template, I have no you know no icon of emulator so how to get this icon first of all so there is a configuration mobile emulator and i need to add my base page here the base page from which with which the template has been created and one more very very important step so in my uh, template types uh, the, uh, in the structure JCR content, I have this particular GCQ colon device group. So in, in the first uh, previous videos, I haven't added this property. So this property is useful only when we are using layout editor. So because uh, this template has already been created, so I need to manually add this property here. And from now onwards, whatever templates you will create, all the things will come up by default. So these two things I have added, I need to refresh the page and I can see that there is an emulator icon we are having. So, okay, we are having emulator icon. So if I want to make it, you know, make it as a layout editor, I want to make it work like a layout editor. Uh, why it is not working? You can see that I'm, uh, I'm, you know, resizing it, but it is not doing so in the blog you have seen that there is a need of grid or less css to do that so what i have done i have created i have created a client library app stored my project under this i have added a grid dot grid dot less css and this helps you know all the responsiveness and in the css.txt i have made an entry of this so again you need how to make a page level policy go to add i can add app stored my project i can click on ok need to refresh the page and now i can see that you know we can resize my component as per the need so okay let's see how we can you know just take an advantage of layout editor so we can just drag and draw sorry we can just drag and drop an image here oh so sorry asset sorry i need to just drag and drop an image here I don't know why it is not going okay let me give it another try so we have assets here yes so if i want to resize it so how can i do it i can just make it like that and then if i want to drop another image component i want to add one more image in that particular component Okay, I will add okay that particular image and I can resize it and make them parallel to e each other. So I can make it like that. So if we want to make things, you know, just parallel to each other, we can do a lot of things with the layout editor. This is not the perfect view, but you can do it like this. So grid dot lace is very important. So my next concept is default components. And I found this really impressive functionality. So in the default components, okay, in the layout container uh, uh, policies, I have a default component. So you can see a list of, you know, components. So this list, uh, the list of component only shown up, which are having drop target. So drop target are considered to be under CQ colon edit config. So here we decide, okay, uh, these kind of MIME types need to be you know dropped it like that so we have added a component image here okay we will add one more we can have an audio component maybe i don't have any audio maybe i can upload a video here 
so just let's take an example of video component and just click on ok so what this particular concept does if I directly add an image in the layout container it just take it as an adaptive image because in the page policy I have configured that ok sorry give me a moment please so in the policies what I have told it that ok a mime type image is related to adaptive image so if I directly you know find an asset from the content finder and upload in the layout it will directly uh, you know attach it with the component so let's see if we are having a video we can take an example of a video as well no video let's upload a video in the dam I hope I have a video in the PC okay let's try it uh, videos uh, these videos are very large otherwise I would have you know topped them only uh, maybe okay let's try this particular video and if I refresh the page and I go to assets I choose videos where is the option of videos videos and I directly video in a you know uh, container so it automatically takes his at as a video component so yes uh, you know we can directly uh, you know connect with the assets with the component so these all kind of functionality default component provide I hope it will help you thank you